Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that the inside lane of a school running track consists of two straight sections, each of length x metres, and two semicircular sections, each of radius r metres, as shown in the diagram. The straight sections are perpendicular to the diameters of the semicircular sections, and the perimeter of the inside lane is 400 metres. Now for the first part, you've got to show that the area a square metres of the region enclosed by the inside lane is given by a equals 400r minus pi r squared for four marks. Now it's this first part that I'm going to do in this video. For the second part, just have a look at the video that follows. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, what I would want to do, first of all then, is we'll just start by looking at the area of the running track. How would we do it? Well, we would divide this up into a rectangle. I could put, say, a dotted line across here, down there, and then straight away down there. OK, so what we've got is a rectangle, and the two semicircles are going to join together to make a circle. I just add those areas together. So the area of the rectangle, will that be x multiplied by 2r? So we're going to have 2rx. And to this, I'm going to add the area of the circle, which would be pi times r squared. But when I look at the thing that we've got to prove here, I notice that it hasn't got an x in it, and we have. So I need some other way of getting to x. Well, it comes from looking at the perimeter. We're told that the perimeter, OK, I'll just write here since the perimeter equals, well, we're told that it's 400 metres. So let's get an equation for that, OK? So to get the perimeter, we've got the two straights. That's going to be 2x, so therefore we've got 2x plus this length round this semicircular arc added to this one. So it's really the circumference of a complete circle of radius r. So that's going to be plus 2 pi r. And that's going to equal then the 400 that we've got here. And I could divide through by 2. It's in each term. So 2 into 400 goes 200 times. So therefore, if I make x the subject by subtracting pi r from both sides, we end up with, therefore, x equaling 200 minus pi r. And all I've got to do now is, if we call that equation 1 and we call this equation 2, all I've got to do is substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So if we do that... What do we get? Well, we're going to therefore have a equals 2r multiplied by x, x being 200 minus pi r. And then it's plus pi r squared, so plus pi r squared. And if we expand the brackets here, we're going to have 400r minus 2 pi r squared and then we've got the plus pi r squared on the end. And simplifying this, we then end up with a equaling 400r minus pi r squared. And there you go. All right?